Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Cincy Game Hunting and we're gonna start this week off a little bit different. Um, I'm honestly driving to Lexington, Kentucky to go make a trade. Um, my wife and my son are both gonna come with me, so I need to record this beforehand because the trade is for something for him for his birthday, which is not for a few months from now. So I've gotta be really cautious about how I do this video because I don't want him finding out what his birthday present is beforehand. Um, so I'm going to trade that Pikachu new 3DS XL that I got at the thrift store to a fellow YouTuber and he's gonna trade me a Switch and a couple of games for it. Um, a Switch Lite, I'm not getting Andrew a full size Switch. Uh, we've already got one in the house, he doesn't need one of those. But uh, I mean, honestly, I don't need that Pikachu 3DS XL. I've got a new 3DS XL myself and I thought about giving it to Andrew uh, as a present and He's got a 2DS and I don't see the point of giving him a 3D model because I guess that's not really good for your eyes and I know, I guarantee you, he's gonna wanna try and play it in 3D and it's not gonna be good for his eyes. So anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna trade the Pikachu 3DS XL um, and uh, gonna pick up a Switch Lite, a couple games, and I've also brought a couple like, other things with me because he said he wouldn't mind buying a couple other things. And I told him I wouldn't, mind, I wanna mainly just trade stuff, but you know what? Uh, I had one thing that he wouldn't mind buying, so I figured I'll throw that in the stack too. Anyway, guys, I'm kind of rambling right now. We're gonna get on the road. Uh, it's a lot, about a two hour drive to Lexington. My wife wanted to come along because she, she always loves hanging out in new towns we haven't been to before. We've only driven through Lexington before on the way to Gatlinburg and whatnot, so I figured make it a family trip and hang out and gotta be cautious though, because Andrew can't find out what he's gonna be getting for his birthday. So we got a little spot here. You want to look at uh, my goodies first or yours? First uh, we can all, show you my goodies first. Everybody, since the game hunting here in the flesh, we thank are, you for making the drive out here. You I know appreciate what? I, it. My wife was like, you know what? Let's, let's take a trip. It's, it's fun, you know? Yeah. She's chilling over in the car. I, I, we got to be careful because Andrew can't know what we're actually getting here today. So Right. Yes. We're not going to say it out loud. So let me get this up here. Okay, so here are the games that I was able to drum up for you. Okay. Got the, the secret there. Wasn't, I couldn't find any Pokemon ones. It's okay. Have this, loose Jumanji. Let's see what we got. And then these guys. These mm. probably wouldn't be great on the light, at least. I've already got Luigi's Mansion okay. Deluxe. He, he would probably enjoy. Great. Uh, let's see. And then the Charger. And a couple of Vita games here. I was able to catch GameStop slipping on these guys. See, I've been I've been super lucky trying to find like GameStop stuff. Yeah, it's like the first couple times that I went in there, I, I started calling around all the ones in the, in Cincinnati, and I was like, dude, like, how am I finding all these games? Like, then once I once I cleared out Cincinnati, it was done. Yeah, I couldn't. They, nobody was trading any more ends, and I just got as I far as like them. Vita stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These ones at mine were like fifteen and 30 i think that's which, a great deal uh, on both of them. yeah yeah Game's pretty really, significantly underpriced they, on they really undervalue all of their stuff you know yeah i think they probably haven't maybe bothered to reprice vita stuff in a while or something but mm -hmm. yeah solid deal on those so what kind of goodies did you bring my way all right so i was thinking for the two vita games uh-huh there's some, there's some secrets in here that i didn't tell you about so. okay yeah i'm excited I was gonna give you that. Ooh, very nice. Because I figured, I looked these up. Yeah. These two combined would be about $82. That's about a $90 game, and you could probably sell that a lot easier with your stuff, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, so, here's the one I didn't tell you about. Okay. Ooh, dang, that it's, is it's a heavy partially, hit right there. The seal's a little broken on one yeah, side, yeah, that's yeah. about it. So but not like a, not fully sealed, but like, that's a, what is this worth these days? I mean, it's, is it north of 100? Yeah. 
It's I'm, I'm sure on Amazon you probably get way more than 100. So well, let's scan it and see because actually Amazon changed a policy recently where you can't list items in collectible condition anymore, which means some of the higher value stuff gets flagged by their like price checking software that is supposed to prevent people from like listing stuff for way too high. Yeah. So some of the highest dollar stuff I'll have to go on eBay with, but yeah, it looks like there's only one copy listed right now on Amazon for 188 or 156 after fees. So this is definitely a, a high dollar. Where'd you get this one? Is there a story behind it? Uh, one of my earlier videos, uh, I went took a trip to Missouri, uh -huh. and I found it in a Walmart and, and on clearance for seven dollars. Wow! And I, I hadn't had a chance to play it, and all of a sudden, when the uh, when the thing went down with PlayStation possibly closing their store yeah. for the PS3, that was a hot title all of a sudden. So yeah, that this one shot up for sure. And yeah, like, that's a great one. I mean, it was, it was a game that I, I figured I'll play it sooner or later, but I'm like, with the price that it is right now, I don't like holding on to games that are that expensive. You yeah. know what I mean? That, yeah, that makes sense. You clear them out when the prices are right. hot and bring them back up later. Now, do you know what that, the significance of that significance of that is? I don't, know. Look inside. Oh, hey. Couple copies of it? No, it says one copy head coach. The whole package comes with the head coach, Madden 09, and uh -huh. then a bonus disc on the inside. So, if you ever see this, this little collector's edition, grab uh -huh. it while you can because that has head coach in it every time. So what, and one of them's a bonus disc? Underneath here is another bonus disc that's on top of it. Oh. So I figure anything that you could take for head coach and, and, you know, do it acceptable or something like that. Yeah. I found that it, I played it. Uh-huh. It was not fun. I, I didn't, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand why it's such a popular game. It's like, it, I didn't find it fun at all. You well, know? and for those of you who don't know, uh, Nick here does almost exclusively collecting. Yeah, right? I, I don't sell anything. Not a whole, yeah, not a whole lot of flipping at all. So stuff like this. If it doesn't end up being fun, you know, it's best best served in deals like yeah, this. So was, that kind of makes sense. I, I wonder if, like, people are streaming it more or something like that. Because sometimes games will jump in popularity when I can they take that. off on Twitch. I mean, it's basically, you're basically calling the plays and stuff like that. You're not even, like, designing. You don't even you're, control you're not, the... I don't... I mean, it was... It was all right. I, I said, I, I'd much <laughs> rather just play Madden and be okay with it. You know what yeah. I mean? So... Well, cool. Um, here's another surprise you didn't tell you about. Ooh, yeah. That's a solid value title there for sure. I found that for three dollars oh, complete, complete too. nice. And I was like, I've got it on multiple systems, and I'm like, I, I don't really need another copy of it, you know. Yeah. So. Cool. Um, here's another one that I didn't tell you about. It does not have the the, the disc to it though. Okay. Because I found I had one of these attached to my game uh, GameCube mm -hmm. when I got it, and I had to find the disc for it. And the guy at the game store was selling it for like this with the disc for uh, I think 50, 60 bucks. Uh huh. So I'm like, yeah, I'll buy just a disc, you know, and this, yeah. I'll keep the extra one around, but I don't see a reason to ever hold on to that for the rest of the time, so. Yeah, for sure. You can, I said, I don't know if you can do anything with it without the disc or not, but. It still goes for, I'd say, maybe in the 30 to 40 range. Okay. Probably, so. Yeah, not definitely not bad. I, I almost never find only the disc. If yeah. I ever find stuff, it's usually just the actual player. See, I wish the... I found just the disc more. I see, I see people online, too, that are saying, you know, like, I've got, like, five copies of the disc, and I'm like, where did you find five copies of the yeah, disc at? I, I don't know if I can think of a time that I found just the disc. I mean, there is ways, I guess, you can hack it. Uh huh. By, uh, you can put, you put something on a memory card so that when you run like Wind Waker or something like that, it'll automatically boot the system. Interesting. So it's, it's weird. Huh. Another thing I know you covet. Oh, yep. The uh, Xbox One Connects. Yep. For sure. Found that at a garage really well sale for three bucks. And I said, "I'm gonna throw that in. You can have it for free. I'm not even worried about it." Oh, that. appreciate that. Thank you. I know, I know you it does you well, so and I'll, then, I'll, I'll still, I'll definitely give you something for it. I don't like just taking freebies. No, but. you're good, man. Sorry. Uh, here's the big Baba Luke, though. Yep. This is my original PS3. It's heavy. Sure is. Um, yeah, these things are a bear to ship. But it's, uh, it's, this is the backwards compatible model. What were you really thinking on the PS3? Uh, on the, on really on the PS3, at, at least a grand. Oh, you were serious? Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Is yeah. there something special about it? It's backwards compatible. Okay. There's like 1,500 of them. All right, well, I must uh, must have been thinking of something else then. The guy wanted $1,000 for a backwards compatible PS3. I don't know what he was looking at. And Wait, you can always you tell, tell that, that. yep. By the and four USBs down here. The flip where it has the compact flash and the micro SD and all right. that stuff on it, so. Yeah, looks like it's a nice shape too. I, it's my it's original. Great to see. I yeah. bought this when they were clearing them out from Walmart. Uh-huh. 
I, uh, they originally were $600. Right. I bought it for 400 from Walmart when they're trying to get rid of them. Yeah. And I was like, I gotta have it, you know? Yeah. And it's, 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 it, it lasted me all those years. I've got, an, I've got a PS3 in my game room. I used to keep that one downstairs. Yeah. So I didn't see a point of holding onto it forever. I, it was just, it was taking up space, you know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. I don't, I don't feel like that. And uh, we got the controller, which by the way, do you know the significance of this controller? I don't. I was gonna give you. I was gonna give you a, a dollar if you could figure out what, what the deal is. Okay. Is it something with the six axis? Mm-hmm. What, what is missing though from that? Uh, uh, DualShock. Yes. Ah. So, the original uh, PlayStation threes did not have DualShock in them. Because okay. Because Sony was in a lawsuit at the time, and the guys that owned the technology for the DualShock. Uh, they were trying to like avoid getting sued for it. Yeah. And they finally settled the deal, and that's why the DualShock started showing back after that. What do you know? So all the original PS3s would have a regular six axis, but not with not a without without DualShock. DualShock. Yeah. The more you know, folks. I never would have known that. Right. <laughs> so I said, you know, it's, that's how you know it's all original because it's you exactly. wouldn't have had a, you wouldn't have had a DualShock with that original PlayStation 3. So. Great history lesson there. All right. Here's your cables with it. HDMI Perfect. and uh, I didn't keep it an, a an AV cable because I really didn't see a point of it. But no, yeah. that's fine. I always sell them with HDMI anyway. All right. So we so. already talked about um, already talked about 180. Correct. For that guy, he's giving me a solid deal on that. To be honest, I I've been doing less consoles recently just because I've got pretty solid access to games and they're just a lot easier. But something like that that's that high dollar, um, I'm happy to still at least make some offer on, even though it's not probably the best offer. Um, so he's definitely hooking me up with that. Oh, did we not? Oh, didn't show you the main reason you kept me here for this. Okay, I was wondering if I maybe you like, decided. I, it just <laughs> fell off at the side, I totally didn't realize it. Yeah. All right, so, <clears throat> I wrapped it up, Dexter, so we could stay safe. Yeah. So and this was the main original trade yes. for the, uh, Switch Lite system. And you want to let the people know what your story is behind picking this up? Um, I originally was picking it up for Andrew. Uh huh. And uh, I thought to myself, I'm like, it's supposed to, the 3D version, the 3D capabilities on these things are not supposed to be good for the kids' eyes. Uh huh. And I'm like, he's already got a 2DS. That's super clean too. I don't see the point of giving him this, and then I can trade this to you. You can get some good money out of it. Yeah. We both had the same amount into these systems. Uh huh. Like I paid 150 for that. You paid about 100 for that. Yep. It's not like we're like, you know, you're getting more value out of that. I'm mm -hmm. getting what my my son would probably enjoy. So yeah, why not? Yeah, it just kind of makes sense. Uh, this is in fantastic shape, and both 3DSs and Pokemon stuff right now are just the prices are going kind of wild. Right. So it's it's a really good time to pick something like this up for sure. So I figured, hey, why not? <clears throat> if I um, but since there is so much more value in this than that, why don't we just do the game as well for free with that? Okay. And then I'll figure out what I can pay on all this stuff right here. Uh, in cash or Venmo or whatever works. Okay. So yeah, it looks like this one's going from anywhere between 40 and like 65 on eBay. This is one of those ones that I can't unfortunately sell on Amazon anymore because they changed that darn policy. Uh, so, and this one, let's see what it's going for on eBay as well because I probably won't be able to do that on Amazon. Uh, so... So, for pre-owned, it looks like it's in the 70 range, but I'm sure I could get more than that, even though the seal is torn. So we'll call it, what do you think, like 100 or so? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it looks like the retail value on this is around 30. Yeah. So, and then we said 30 on that, so that brings us to a retail value of around, uh, like 220. Oh, plus this as well. So like 250, so if you wanted to do, um, you do like don't low bomb me come on now a dollar <laughs> <laughs> how about 120 is that fair okay plus the so plus the 180 for that so it'll be 300 all together exactly that works perfect like i said man, I, I ain't sweating it it's like it's just all stuff that i had sitting around the room yeah and i wouldn't mind playing this but like it's it's, I would guess in a year you could probably get it cheaper. Right. I mean, like, I get it. Even if you got it on eBay. And I could probably just buy these four games on the PlayStation Store. Yeah. For much less than that, that thing's going for. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, that was a that was a totally a whim buy. Just like I saw it for seven dollars yeah. and I grabbed it. 
there, yeah. I'm not gonna turn down How a seven dollar How long ago game. was that, by the way? It's actually in a video. It's a. It was like the third part of my Missouri trip. Okay. So, if you go back and watch that, it was on my Missouri video. And I was like, I just had me going through a Walmart. I found a bunch of things. I found like a dollar Wii U game or something like that there. Wow. And like, I did, that was just one of the things. It was a random seven dollar game. You know. That's amazing. So, yeah. I was just hunting at Walmart's for some three cent games yesterday. I went to ten stops and ended up finding four. So you definitely had a better... Uh... Do you want to know how many I got? <laughs> I don't think I do. How many? I don't 20? think I actually count. It was more than 20. Really? Yeah, it was... But how many, how many stops did you go to? I, I hit a lot of one in town, but I think most of them came from, I want to say like two or three stops. Yeah. Like, yeah, because I only found one that was actually honoring the... Well, most of the ones that I went to were honoring, but the problem is that they were... Uh, they were already cleared out. Yeah. Like either they, the employees already got rid of the games. Right. Or they didn't have, you know. They, yeah, they... I was finding a lot that were showing as in stock online. Yes. But that I would go in store and couldn't find them anywhere. There was there was one in Mason that like I went to that everything was listed, being listed as in stock, in stock, in stock, and I'm like, oh cool, I'm like, I'm looking everywhere, and I'm like, I don't see these yeah. games anywhere, you know? Like, yeah, it is what it is. Well, man, thanks again for the deal. This has been a lot of fun and. I guess glad to finally meet you. I mean, we, we've been we've been talking for how long now? Right. Yeah. And better it's part like, of a year for sure. I mean, the one, one time you were in Cincinnati, I'm like, I'm working all day, can't do anything about that. So yeah. And then you kind of you're like, hey, I'm gonna be in Cincinnati next week, and I'm like, of course you are. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be anywhere near town that day. So. Yep. All right, man. I appreciate it. And I said, uh, I'm glad you found the Vita games because you know, that's that's my big thing right now. I'm trying to find as many good, you know Vita games that I can throw them in the collection as possible. So. Yeah. And to get those for. The cost of what I paid for the Pokemon game, I don't get that. Yeah, now. yeah, I'm glad that glad that it worked out, folks. Definitely subscribe to Cincy Game Hunting for sure. He puts out the great weekly game hunting content. Is uh, it, we're, we're definitely different styles. Like you, you, you find stuff that you're going for that you know have value. I'm going for stuff that I want to play. You yeah, know? and it's it's totally it's it's a contrasting style of what we do, but mm -hmm. like it's very similar in a way. You know, because you're it really is. we're both the looking for the, the hunt. Deal. Yep, thrill of the find. So. So yeah, check him out, and again, appreciate the deal. No, man, I appreciate you. Thank you. GameStop over in Fort Wright, I believe it was, and I figured I'd just take a look around. I like looking at the older games that pop up over there. Now, a lot of you guys know that I find uh, Black Ops 2 at thrift stores a lot, and I flip it to GameStop for $13, $14. So, I found a copy of it there, and they were only charging $9.99, and I figured out why. They put the wrong game on the tag. It was actually Black Ops, or it was actually Call of Duty 2, not Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So I bought it, and I'm gonna take it to another GameStop and trade it in. Um, it is what it is. They just slipped a little bit there, and uh, I'm gonna buy this with trade credit for ten dollars, and I'm going to trade it back in for probably around $18 or $19 because I'm trading it towards uh, Ratchet and Clank, the new PS5 game. So by the way, if you guys don't know that, you guys can tra trade things in for higher trade rates if you're trading towards a game. I don't usually pre-order stuff, but I've been wanting that Ratchet and Clank game for a while. So that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, definitely caught GameStop slipping here. $9.99 for Black Ops 2 when they normally charge $40 for it. It's pretty sweet. All right, guys, we are back from Lexington and I had to do the wrap up in my other car. Had to wait till we got home because I didn't want Andrew to overhear anything in this uh, trade that we made. Because part of this, as I said before, I think I said it before, is actually for Andrew's birthday uh, later on in the year. So had to keep it kind of secretive. He didn't really know why we were going to Lexington. So uh, yeah, made the trade. 
Um, like I said before, that 3DS, while it was cool, I played a lot of it. I actually played it for probably a good three, four months maybe. Um, but I didn't see a point of holding on to something that's, that's that expensive. And I only had $150 into it and Caleb only had $150 into this Switch Lite. So Andrew will get a ton of uh, good times out of this. Uh, it's gonna be for his birthday, like I said. And uh, I know he's gonna have a blast. He always loves playing my Switch upstairs. I don't let him play it in handheld mode because I don't want the Joy-Con getting tore up. But if he has his own, he can do what he wants with it. And I kinda wanna give him the freedom to do that. And uh, Caleb also threw in an extra game with it too for Andrew. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, Mario Brothers U Deluxe is gonna be a fun game for him. He loves playing the uh, the Wii version of this game. So um, yeah, awesome. So I got the Switch and the game for the uh, new 3DS XL, which I hope Caleb makes a ton of money off it. I'm glad that I could help him out and he could help me out for what we needed. And uh, the other trade we made, as you guys might've saw earlier, was for these. God of War, the uh, collection on the Vita. I did not have this one yet, and it's about a $50 game, like $50, $55 game, so even in loose condition, so that's pretty awesome. And Dead or Alive 5. Um, this one, about a $30 game, I think it was. So, I mean, price is gonna go up and down, so uh, I'm sure it may be different by the time this video airs. But yeah, these two games combined are about $82, $85, something like that. So I traded him a copy of Pokemon Black, which is about a $90 game complete right now. And I know he can do well with it. He can make a good chunk of money off of that game, being that it's complete, he can sell it in very good condition on Amazon. And that's my extra copy. Um, so yeah, I ended up having a loose copy and a complete copy. And uh, I ended up coming across a uh, Pokemon Black case and manual. So I had two complete copies now. So I don't need two complete copies of Pokemon Black. So I figured why not I'll trade him one of those. And we got these Vita games for the trade. That's pretty awesome. Uh, the rest of the stuff as you saw in the video, uh, this is my, my old uh, PS3 backwards compatible uh, system. I don't use it anymore, it's been sitting in the closet. Um, I have extra PS2s if I ever wanna play PS2 games. So having that was really not a big deal. I have component cables for all my PS2s. So I'm not gaining anything by having that PS3. It's just, it's just the fact that it's, you know, the original one that I bought back when the PS3 became big. Um, and yeah, I'm glad he can get some good money out of it. I got, he gave me 180 bucks for it, which is more than I thought I'd ever get out of it because you know, for a while there, they weren't selling for nothing. So like more than a hundred bucks. But I think the going rate right now is about 250. So to get 180 out of it, I'm fine with that. And he said he can make some good money off of that. I'm totally down for that. There's a whole bunch of other odds and ends that I threw at him and he said, hey, I'll give you another 120 for these. That's fine. These are all just things that were cluttering up the game room. I have more than one copy of uh, Simpsons Hit and Run. I think I have a PlayStation 2 version of it as well. And uh, uh, it, was, it was a Game Boy player I had. That was a backup Game Boy player I had. So like I said in the video, you might've heard, um, I had the Game Boy Player that came with my game, my GameCube, and I'd never had the disc for it. So I found the disc and the player for like 50 or 60 bucks over at a video game store, and I bought it and got the disc, and I'm like, I don't need this extra player. So it's been sitting in my game room forever. So threw that towards him. He said he'd love it. Uh, the Xbox One uh, Connect, I found at the garage sale for three bucks. I know he can make good money off of that, so he gave me a little extra scratch for that too. Yeah, so like a couple of random things. Oh, that uh, Best of PlayStation 3 collection. People are gonna be like, why did you sell that for so cheap? And I'm like, I paid $7 for it. I can get all those games on the PlayStation Network right now if I really, really wanted to for like, you know, 10, 15, 20 bucks a piece, whatever. I'm not that worried about it. It was a $7 buy from a Walmart in an earlier video. And I never got even got around to opening it yet because I've got so many games and I think with the value going as high as it is, I don't know if it's going to hold that value, so whatever. It went from literally like $20 game to like $150 game in like an, over a weekend when they had that big announcement that they were going to close the PS3 score. So he can get like $100 and change out of it. I'm down with that. He kind of gave me like $50 for it. All together, Caleb gave me all the stuff you saw plus $300 for the stuff that I brought along. And that's pretty cool. I'm glad to help him out. He helped me out with the present for Andrew. And Caleb, I appreciate it again. And guys, if you don't know about Caleb's channel, 
It's called Phoenix Resale. I'm sure almost anybody who watches my channel knows about his channel, but if you haven't yet checked it out, I will put a link in the description. Uh, Phoenix Resale, it's a great channel. He's got about 50,000 subscribers. He did a really cool thing around Christmas time. Uh, if you all haven't seen that video, uh, gave away a PS5 and an Xbox Series X to random people uh, with under pretense of saying that, like, you know, he's gonna give them a, uh, ask for somebody if they wanted a uh, an old DS or something like that. And he ended up dropping a PS5 and an Xbox Series X on people. So that was a pretty cool video. If you guys haven't checked it out, check out his channel in general. It's a lot of cool, uh, if you guys are into reselling at all, he's, you know, the guy that does all the reselling channel stuff. It's, uh, it's different than what I do, but we are both searching for video games on every video. So, and he's out at this, main, his main income is video games. So he goes out and searches for them, resells them on Amazon and eBay. It's what he does. And uh, hey, if you guys enjoy that kind of thing, go check them out. guys as you saw we stepped into a half price books real quick and honestly i haven't been going to half price books very much anymore because usually when i go i try to go to their clearance aisle or the clearance shelf if you will and it's two to three dollars usually on that shelf but they haven't had any good deals on that shelf in a while it's always just been like you know five ten year old sports games that are just sitting on the shelf that nobody wants to touch um <clears throat> so anyway we didn't find any clearance deals but we did find a vita game sitting on the shelf so I was pretty stoked about that. The game was Child of Light. And this is a game I've actually been wanting to try and find for the Vita, so I was stoked when I saw it on the uh, shelf over at the Half Price Books. They had it marked at $19.99, which is right on the money. I think it goes around $22, $23 bucks maybe. Um, so yeah, picking that up for $20, I'm down with that. It's a game I've been wanting to try and pick up for a while, and they only made physical copies for this game, I think for the Vita and for the Switch. So, I think, now don't quote me on that, I mean, they might have made a limited run for PS4 somewhere, but I think there were only two physical copies of that game. But I think it was ported to almost every system if you wanted to buy it digitally. So, anyway, I digress. Uh, we picked up Child of Light for 20 bucks over at Half Price Books. I'm pretty happy with that. This is the game that was in the Vita. It is Need for Speed. Go oh, ahead and have it. It's work. a fun game. I Rocking. like it. I hope you enjoy it. Awesome, man. I appreciate yeah, it. No problem. You too, man. All right, guys. Last stop of the week. Uh, and actually, it wasn't a stop. It was a Facebook Marketplace deal. Um, I uh, came across an ad for a guy selling a, P a PlayStation Vita, the uh, first edition with like nine games and he had it listed for a hundred dollars. I'm like, wow. So I jumped on it and I said, hey, I would like to buy it. Um, can you mark it as sold? And uh, he said that like, man, I've already had like so many offers come in on this. Um, and he actually raised the price to $250. So I was kind of bummed about that. Um, but I asked him, hey, would you be willing to sell any of the games individually? And he said, yeah, sure. So I ended up grabbing three games and he threw a bonus game in so that was pretty awesome uh three games will be for thirty dollars so i figured ten dollars a game that's a good deal for vita games uh first game we grabbed was the walking dead the telltale game 
Uh, did not have this one yet and uh, totally down to pick that up for 10 bucks. I think it's like a 15 to 20 dollar game. This is the one I was really excited about. The Jack and Daxter collection. Uh, this is actually around a 40 or so dollar game. Um, yeah, to pick that up for 10 bucks totally, totally made the whole thing worthwhile. So grabbing that one for cheap, definitely cool. This is one that I've actually been wanting for a while. It's not an expensive game by any means, but it's a game that I've been wanting to get. Mod Nation Racers. Um, I have this on PS3, but I don't have the uh, Road Trip, I guess it's called, version of it. Um, so I don't know how much different this is in the PS3 game, but uh, picking that up for 10 bucks as well. Now, the bonus game he threw in, apparently it was said it was in the console, so it wasn't in the ad, and he just pulled it out and said, hey, sorry about the miscommunication, and he threw it in. Need for Speed, uh, most wanted. Pretty awesome, man, I was awesome. He picked, he said, you know, he totally was apologetic about the miscommunication with the ad and everything like that. He just realized that, he didn't realize how much that thing was worth, and he kind of just kept on uh, getting more and more offers in, and he felt bad, because I was probably one of the first ones to, to respond. But with all the offers coming in, he couldn't just take $100 for the whole lot, which I understand, I'm fine with that. But I'm glad he was able to make a deal with me, and we got four games for 30 bucks. Nice way to end the week. Guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me again for another week. Uh, a lot of Vita games this week. Ended up not expecting that, but uh, we made the trade with Caleb and uh, got some uh, Vita game over at half price. And it seemed like all week long we were kind of stumbling across Vita games all week. So anyways, guys, once again, stay safe out there. And until next time, keep hunting.